Hello everyone and welcome to a screencast. Today I'm gonna be attempting this uh, starters 19 but there is a twist. I'm gonna be using github copilot. If you don't know what that is, this is what that is. AI pair programmer, it does the code for us. So let's see how it does on a competitive programming contest. I'll start with the non-scorable problems. It is unrated for me, so it's all fine. Chef and Shafin are competing against each other in a programming contest. They were both able to solve all problems, so the winner must be decided by time penalty. Chef solved all problems in X minutes and made P wrong submissions. Shafina solved in Y and made Q wrong submissions. Who won? So the time penalty is calculated as follows. Uh, the base time penalty is the time at which the final problem was solved, so x and y for Shefina and each wrong submission adds 10 minutes penalty, so like add coder but penalty is 10 minutes. Okay, uh, so let's go here and make sure to subscribe to become better than me, I mean wait, everyone is better than me. So we have x, y, p and q. So I have, <laughs> it's just new. Okay. So X, Y, P and Q. Can it do it for me? Come on. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now score one is X plus 10 times uh, P, right? So score two is, <laughs> it knows. So if S1 is less than S2. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. What is this? So chef wins, else if S2 is greater than S1, no, Fina, okay, it knows, it knows that when it is equal, it is a draw, so it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good auto complete, not gonna lie, wait, what, so score one, score 2 if score 1 is okay so this should work and a lot of it was solved by the copilot indeed I'm gonna click paint it very nicely I have a great idea so let's see if this works oh there's a lot of noise not good not good okay cool this worked let's try this one Chef has to work on a project for next n hours. He's given a work plan to do this, which is given to you as a binary string s of length n. If si is one, chef has to work on project doing the ith hour. Otherwise, he's free. Chef would like to use some of his free time to take naps. He needs a minimum of k consecutive hours of free time to take a nap. What is the maximum number of naps that chef can take during the next ten next ten hours? Note that it is allowed for one nap to immediately follow another. Okay. So in this one, okay, let's clear this. In this one, so it is something like this, right? And we can take naps in these zero places. So let's count all these, right? So let's say this was X, this was Y, this was Z. And uh, the number of naps I can take is X by K. In this place, then y by k and then z by k and this is all flow division so let's do that yeah i'm also going to be explaining solutions so that it is useful to watch integer n and k wait let me take input if it could do suggestions fast enough it would be great okay no that's not what i wanted i wanted a string and then what I will do is for in wait let me calculate for integer i equals to zero okay integer j is equals to i and while huh this is great so okay if si is equals to zero then I'll continue and otherwise the code was written for me by copilot and then what i would do is answer plus equals to <laughs> it knows and then i equals to j 
It knows everything. These easy questions can be solved by Copilot alone. Wait, uh, what is missing here? Mm, oh wait, sorry, I need to do this. See, the mistake made was by me, not by Copilot. It is better than tourist. I mean, it's better than me at least. Not tourist. Well, tourist doesn't correct me, so probably is better. And come on, AC, yeah. Now, indivisible permutation, you are given an integer n, construct an array p of size n such that p is a permutation of first n natural numbers and p is indivisible. It is said to be indivisible if i does not divide pi for every index, except one of course. So it can be proven that it always exists. So how can I form it? Well, hmm. So I have this, right? Let's erase this. So I have this. And uh, this is index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, n. What if, what if I put n minus 1 here? Of course. And n minus one is not divisible by n. I can put n minus two here and so on. Five, four, three, two, one, and then I can put n here. Yeah, that is a good construction. How I reached it is uh, pretty simple. I just thought anything which is smaller than the index would not be divisible. And I want to cover for all of them. So I need to make sure. So I need to make, check uh, the just the smaller number and then I can assign n here. Okay, uh, so no, this is not what I want. So integer n and then so this is my answer. Answer 0 is equals to n i plus than n. No, no. Well, copilot was not useful at all here. What an idiot, right? Uh, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 4. Okay, looks good. Well, this was very small code. Copilot had no time to, you know, think of any guesses. Okay, so we have earned a total of zero score in all this time. Very useful. So distinct elements, you are given an array A containing n integers. Uh, a, sub a subsequence of this array is called good if all the elements of this subsequence are distinct. Okay, find the number of good non-empty subsequences of A. And since it can be very large, I'm going to want this to be the modulo. Let me just cut this and uh, note that the two subsequences are considered different if they differ in indices. Okay, so I'm hoping you know what a subsequence is. Subsequence is, uh, you no, know, just take some elements from the array and uh, make sure their relative order is maintained. That is what a subsequence is. And I need to count the number of subsequences such that all elements are distinct in it. Test case, okay, t is that, n is that, ei is that, and sum of n does not exceed 26. Now I have to count it, okay. Hmm. So what can I do here? Uh, it's a counting problem, so first of all, we can try to see if combinatrix work, otherwise gp is our goal. Um, okay. So let's say we have an array here, 3a4 and then an and uh, we are given the array right and we want to find the number of unique ones.
DP. Okay. Um. How can we do this? We want the numbers to be distinct. Okay. It would be very awkward if I have to end the screencast here because we don't have an immediate solution here. Let's hope we can solve it. Let's hope we can solve it. There are three non-empty and it's pretty big. So it has to be some n login solution at worst. Hmm. Okay, one one thing we can try. One thing we can try is that uh, let's say we are at ith index, okay, and ith index is a ai, okay. Now the elements before this were a one, a two, a three, and then uh, a i minus one, and uh, I want to see. What are the number of good subsequences till this much where I take this element? Okay, where I take this element. So if I take this element, if I take this element, then what that means is, uh, what that would mean is, let's say the distinct ele elements though, they are just three. Okay. Three and their fre frequencies are f f1, f2, and f3. Then the number of subsequences would be. Uh, I can choose uh, either I can choose all of them. Sorry, either I can choose it or not choose it. And if I choose it, there are f1 options, but I cannot choose more than one. So there are f1 plus one options for the first one f2 plus 1 options for the second f3 plus 1 for the third and then since i am taking ai one so that's great but uh, calculating this will lead to quadrat uh, sorry calculating this every time for every index will lead to quadratic complexity however what we can do here is uh, um what we can do here is we can incrementally build it so let's say so let's say it was like this and after adding ai now ai also goes in this set of the prefixes and this is da4 and its frequency is f4 okay then um, then what's happening? Mm. Then what's happening is, uh, yeah, I'm just multiplying this prefix. So, okay, let's have a look at it again to clearly understand this. So in the prefix, this is my prefix. Let's say the values are a1, a2, a3 and a4 and a4 is equals to a i and the frequencies are f1 f2 these are the distinct values okay f3 f4 so they are distinct so let's say da now to calculate the number of uh, good subsequences ending at ai i'm gonna wanna rem first of all i'm gonna wanna increase the frequency of f4 so when i calculate for ai i increase this value okay so f4 increases by one and then and then what happens um and then i have to take the multiplication of these values right these values so what's happening is let's say initially so let's store the direct multiplication instead of these this data structure 
so initially i'm storing f1 so i'm storing this resultant uh, thing okay so i was storing this so what i do first of all is i divide it by f4 plus 1 right this was so that uh, you know i'm not selecting a4 anymore and then uh, multiplied by 1 because i'm selecting only this value add it to our answer and then i will multiply it back but this time by f4 plus 2 and increase f4 or just increase f4 first and then multiply by f4 plus 1 okay this should work so let's see if copilot can solve it okay so first of all i'm gonna need okay copilot has the solution but we are not gonna try <laughs> i don't know what that is um okay so i have n p n okay I don't want all of this okay I don't want all of this and then what what do we have here so let's store the prefix result that is one and let's store our answer now for every for everything I'm also gonna have a map okay so what I will do is uh, first of all, uh, first of all, what I want to do is divide prefix by, like I said, f of a of i plus 1. And then what I want to do is answer plus equals to prefix. And uh, let's do it like this. So I can calculate mod as well. And then I multiply, and then what I do is first of all, f of this and then prefix multiplied by equals to this it knows that was great okay that was really great but uh, here's a flaw here and the flaw is uh, that uh, we cannot divide this when we are doing everything in modulo we have to multiply it we have to multiply it by the mod inverse of this uh, and uh, let's uh, let's make a multiplication function okay it knows it can read my mind so this and then here as well we use this so as to not have to write modulo again and again and then we just print the answer so let's try i'm not sure if this will work the sample test cases are very strong so that is helpful thank you coach chef very cool okay samples are passing let's try with uh, the actual solution i mean let's try with all test cases okay this worked cool i was able to solve at least one problem today something came up so i didn't record any further or solve any further so sorry for that but hope you like this new copilot extension it was pretty good and uh, subscribe